what up, what? The Surface Coast Disc Golf is bringing you some more Dynamic Discs, DiscGolf.io, and True Flight sponsored Disc Golf action. As always, Dynamic Discs is sponsoring a Dynamax giveaway, so make sure to like and comment for a chance to win. Uh, speaking of DD, they just got in some sweet looking new Ranger bags, uh, so make sure to check the website for those. I'm a huge fan of that bag, really love mine. Uh, DiscGolf.io is the place to go if you're a Disc Golf Club attorney needs a presence on the web. Really nice guys with a great product. Uh, True Flight Collective is my buddy Garrett Tapkins, uh, disc golf company. I check out his website for some sweet hats. I, I also wanted to give a huge thanks to our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you guys are a huge part in making it financially possible for us to do what we do. Uh, but anyway, let's watch some disc golf. Alright guys, Ian from Central Coast, joined by Jonathan Gomez and Michael Fouché from uh, Joe Mess Productions. So what guys, how you guys doing? What's up? Cool. And we are at uh, Texas States, and we're out in Houston, and <laughs> this course was put together pretty quick, Joe Mess. Yeah, uh, 11 days. 11 days before the tournament, they gave him the, the city gave him the permit Man, to dude. put in three 21-hole courses. Doing some work. But yeah. uh, we're starting off on hole one, Simon Lazat, and this one's pretty straightforward. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Simon coming up a little short. Big skip. And Paul Macbeth in a hat, Jay. What's up with that, dude? <laughs> dude, that's like the talk of YouTube. Right? Everyone, I don't even think that's really Paul Macbeth. Yeah. And I'm like, well, did you see him putting? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah exactly. <laughs> you hung that forehand out a little wide. Uh, Greg Barsby. He's got a really solid forehand game, Jay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Except right there. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we that got, win got him. It did. Uh, Matt Bell. And, uh, yeah, I never gotten to see him play before this round, and he's a solid player. He's a lot of seems like he does a lot of stable plastic, and it works out for him in these headwinds. Yeah, definitely. Uh, McBeast coming up a little short on that birdie putt. Oh. Yep. Uh, Barsby with his. Yeah, from OB. So this is for three. Gotcha. So Ooh, hit the front of the pan. Yep, taking a bogue. And uh, Simon, a little high there. Not a good start for most of these guys, except for Matt there. Yeah, nice birdie. We got, a, yeah. what, three Californians and a German on this card? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the story. I think everyone was that mentioned that, too, about where everyone's from. Well, California did really well this time. <laughs> I got to point that out, living in California, you know. I can't, I can't, mm -hmm. let, that, I can't let that one go. <laughs> Matt Bell throwing a big hyzer. And come up a little short, but not bad, Jack. Looks like the same disc as the last hole, man. This thing's just predictable for him. Uh -huh. Whatever that is, I honestly couldn't tell you which what it was, but Simon stood that one up. Ooh, OB. You can tell he knows his plastic so well. Yeah, he was as soon as he threw it. Right? Yeah, immediately <laughs> disappointed. You can see it on his face. Paul Macbeth, looks like that's going left, Jay. Yeah, sawed it off a little bit, seems like. Maybe he wasn't counting on the headwind, to, you know, thought it maybe stand up a little better, so it just gotcha. hit a little too soon. Barsby throwing low, but right at it. Yeah, stood it up real nice. I think he gets a nice, yeah. Wow. Nice little tree love. It stop it from going any further than that. Mm -hmm. So Simon almost makes his par. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Macbeth for two. Wow. Yeah, right under the pan. Mm -hmm. It's pretty upset with that one. I remember. Oh, Matt Bell with either just nose down or just out low. Yeah, I don't think it was too windy, so I guess they just. There's Bart B. Making the bird. Getting a stroke on the card right there. And a couple yep. couple hole. strokes on Simon. Yep. And we are on to hole three. Tell us about the hole, man. 566 straight ahead. This one, I believe, has a little commentary from Mr. Barsby. Yeah, he's giving Simon a hard time about being able to throw, you know, <laughs> blizzard plastic. 600 plus. And... No there he goes, no blizzard plastic. <laughs> yeah, no blizzies on this one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, they, they don't come much further than Barsby, man. Oh Barsby, my gosh, it was Beth so much fun that. having him. Yeah. It's not going to be quiet at all with him on it, and that's, <laughs> you know, that's not an insult. It's, like, so much fun oh, to I, hear that guy just comment on everything. Totally agree, but uh, Simon and Paul like the chat, too, so i got to imagine this is a pretty cool <laughs> yeah. card, man. Yeah. Uh, Paul Macbeth's drive right here. After Barsby and Bell came up a little inbounds, but just a little shorter than they yeah. wanted. 
Macbeth kind of hung it up, but it got, it got plenty of distance. Yes. Just kind of playing the safe shot. You know, there's that water kind of hidden in there to the right, and oh, okay. the path on the left. So, gotcha. Simon throwing a big Annie. Yep. That one fades out eventually too, right? Yeah, it didn't hold. I don't think as much as he wanted, but mm-hmm. of course it's it's a bomb. He <laughs> drove everyone else. Yeah, exactly right. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, Matt Bell's up shot, a little bit to the right. A little wide, but. And we got Greg Barsby. Make Solid up shot. Yep. That'll work for a par. <sighs> it's so crazy watching him do that. Jump putts <laughs> from jump that far. Putts. Yeah. yeah, they're still so on. Uh huh. It's it's pretty insane. Simon almost makes it too. Yeah, he missed it too. Oh, Matt Bow, tough chain out, little headwind right there. <sighs> yeah, right at him. Looked like. And of course, opposite for Simon. Yep. Makes the bird. I prefer a tailwind head put up, a uh, headwind put. I don't know about you. Oh yeah, Simon so same. Yep. So we got par four. There's some birdies from uh, Bursby and McBeast, and we got a hole four. And uh, Let's see, this one's kind of an anti line. This is a little bit of a tunnel shot at the beginning. Oh yeah. And then it opens up. Bursby hanging that forehand out there. Yeah, a little bit. A little short? A little short. Yeah. McBeast. That one looks wide, too. Yeah, he, he... I don't know. I guess that tree was getting in their heads. I mean, they were putting them short and wide. Both of huh. them almost the exact same spot. That's funny. And uh, Simon going the backhand Annie route. Yeah, I think he gets a little too much of it. It goes yeah. to the fence. Yeah, he called it. Yeah, a little chain link right there. Mm-hmm. Matt Bell? Hanging out a little wider. Yeah, this is a pretty nice shot. I mean, wow. it got down there a little bit past it, but it was a good line. Yeah, for sure. Macbeth running it from like 65. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he can. <laughs> and uh, Barsby a little short. Simon for birdie. Not so much. Oh, pan. Yeah. And a uh, nice birdie from Matt Bell. Oh, it's so I've never seen him putt before today, and, or before that day, and he's uh-huh. just so quick. Yeah, he is, huh? It's so cool. He rarely missed doing that too. Like he doesn't take very much time at all. Actually, no, I've never filmed that. Does that straddle and just <laughs> just bangs it in, <laughs> Barsby. And no one like you, they always gotta complain if the you know like try to get the crowd into it. Yeah. No one's clapping for anything, so he just has to <laughs> make sure they know that they need to liven like, up a little bit. Nice. <laughs> so you got another forehand hole and Matt, a little tight there, Jay. Yeah, I saw that one off pretty quick actually. Barsby, a little wider. And then he gets robbed. It's hard to see, but he gets robbed by that tree branch. Otherwise, it would have been parked. Oh no. Macbeth throwing a forehand. Oof, skinny getting by those trees. Yeah, he was. He's got to have a putt for birdie. And yeah. Simon also throwing forehand. He barely splits these. Whoa. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Super close. Yeah, it's still kind of short, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, Matt Bell's second shot. Looking at Barsby for birdie. <laughs> He's not stoked. Macbeth? Eh, a little high? Yeah. That was a nice putt from Matt, saving a part. Oh yeah. Out of the out of the brush. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid on that hyzer putt and it stays in. Yeah. On a hole six, got a big one. <laughs> Chase is three or part three or four? Uh, I believe this one was a part three. Wow. That's a big pull. Wow, Matt just parked it. <laughs> yeah, this actually didn't. Did, what did what did the distance say? It said like 500. I want to okay, say. Okay, this is one of the ones I was off. I'm gonna make that note. Uh, okay. Like so I this... said, the course was very young. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> By gonna... A couple of days. Gotcha. I'm gonna yeah. guess this is about three bills, something like that. Yeah, for sure. This is one of the ones we had. We didn't have time to edit because they were changing them on like the day before. But gotcha, as gotcha. you can see, this is not 500 <laughs> feet as everyone's just flicking it up there. And... Yeah. Backhand it with a putter and putting it by the basket. For so. sure. <laughs> uh, Barsby's birdie putt. Damn. Barely kept it in there. It was beautiful. That was a huge putt. 
For sure. He's walking it off. <laughs> <laughs> Simon just slams that putt in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Not even a thought. Pretty it's good. like he doesn't even care what the wind's doing. Right? <laughs> His putt just goes in. Just goes straight in. Like Beth also a card and a bird, and Matt parked it. Finish up the all-star. That yeah. was a nice putt. Gotta love it. So on a hole seven and a 300-footer, what do you guys say about this one, Donovan? This one, the terrain's a little different than the preview. It's got a little bit of a the baskets on a hill, as you can see. Oh, or okay. it's just on their side of a hill. It's kind of d- hidden down in there. and mm-hmm. Some trees back in the back. And Matt kind of got taken by the wind there off to the left. Still in bounds, but... What are we looking at wind here, Wes? Uh, I'd say at this point, we're probably pushing over 15. Wow. On, on some of these open... You can see how the skips are going. You know, they just kind of pick right up off the ground. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's kind of a tough wind, but... Didn't uh, bother uh, Greg very much. <laughs> no, <laughs> a good shot. Or Paul. And of course, yeah, look at that. Look what? At these, it's almost skipping him in. That that wind's putting him basket high. Insane. Simon. Yeah. Simon tur- gets you know turns it over because of that same wind. So. Yeah, you you get that right to left, you ante. It's just not gonna come out of that ante. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, still, it must make the pretty <laughs> cut know, though. Right the front. Oh, Matt with the laser beam just inches low. Mm-hmm. It's gotta hurt. You know how that feels. Just <laughs> yeah. Don't even get a chance to go in. Yep. Dead the whole way. Dead Just man. Drop in. Dead drop putt walking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nice birdies from uh, McBest and uh, Barsby. On a hole eight. Hole eight. What do we got? Let's see this one. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, this is another kind of the same terrain as the last one. Mm-hmm. It's just more of a. You know, they're flicking at it, which is crazy because I thought it was more of a, of a hyzer, but you can see yeah. by the basket they didn't want to flick toward that, that little drop off there. So There's OB left, it looked like, in the tall grass? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, some kind of little barrier see down there by the basket. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Paul throw so many forehands, man. I know. Like, he was pretty comfortable with it, though. Yeah. And then Matt's kind of, like, flirting with that, but I think he hangs on mm-hmm. right against that. Nice. Uh, Simon... Busting out a Paul Macbeth looking forehand. <laughs> Slash Avery Jenkins. No, no, I think Avery's the first one I saw do that. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely. Like he started that for him. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely giving that one to Avery, but Simon, you see that putt? Yeah, just it was huge. I mean, I'm telling you, he uses that wind and it just gets there. Uh huh. He didn't even put anything on it. No, it was a total death putt, too. Uh, yeah, and uh, unfortunately, Bars be going high. Uh, Macbeth making this all day. And, and twice on whatever day it is. With the hat, it's like the hat doesn't even bother. It, <laughs> it just bothers everyone else, I guess. <laughs> Did he get a hat sponsor or something? <laughs> no, it was a USDGC hat. Was it? Uh, it was. Maybe he just worried about skin cancer or something. Oh, I don't this know. one was beautiful. These guys what? were laser beaming at the spasm. I thought we were going to get an ace on this. Wow. Paul this. Right almost got it. it. <laughs> and then Simon, same exact line. It's just beautiful to watch. Wow. Look at that. Does that not look like... It does. <laughs> if you split their throws, that's two aces. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I couldn't imagine if we got both of those. Oh, man. Millions of views, Jonathan. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's what we want. We just, want just get aces, guys. Yeah, it's I know. Come on, hard. man. You get money, and we get the views. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's all work together here. So, uh, Barsby finished off the right, and looks like yeah, Matt, so Matt finished short right. An early tree. Yeah. Just got a pitch up there. Yeah, pretty nice little up though, facing backwards away from the basket. Yeah, it was. Oh, Paul, a little short. I got dipped down right at the end. Mm-hmm. Barsby, nice bird. Nice. Yeah. Banging that one home. And Simon for birdie. Yes. <laughs> Look at his face, and he's like, "Yeah, how does that go in?" <laughs> Dude, you can't not love Simon, man. Oh yeah. He knows when he when he like bought one, you yeah. know, like oh yeah, Berkey, oh yeah, it wasn't supposed to have one hundred percent. I love that. It's great. This one, everyone's coming. What did he say right there? What happened right there? He all of a sudden heard music that was playing the entire time. Really? Oh he weird. Said, Where did that music come from? And Paul's like, I don't know. We we it was there the whole time. <laughs> right. And so he shanks that throw, and and then Barsby, you know, kind of did the same. Yeah, he did. For whatever reason, but. Yeah, Simon, as soon as he let it go, he just looks backwards and he watches drive. Weird, dude. Uh, yeah. Paul Paul barely stayed in bounds, but should yeah. have a birdie. 
Wow, almost parking it. Oh, well, parking it for Matt, <laughs> not for me. <laughs> That's a nice little run at it. Yeah, uh, Simon's birdie putt. Wow. Right off. Yeah, right. Paul, card in the bird. Extra automatic. Yep, all day. You just don't even have to wonder if it's gonna go in. It's just gonna go in. <laughs> yeah. Matt, card in the birdie as well. Reels taking a par, and Macbeth one stroke lead over Simon on hole eleven. This one's six fifteen. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. This is actually a pretty long hole. Wow. You got this little parking lot thing, which I think it was in bounds because it's all dirt. But uh, okay. It kind of makes you play the line a little bit different just to get out of that, gotcha. that bend. And gotcha. then you see that OB line that was painted, so you don't want to go too far left. I think Matt gets lucky and hits the tree. Yeah. Uh, okay. So he stays in bounds because of that. Wow. And here we go, Mr. Open Air just likes to... But he still gets the tree. You know, all that. He did, right? <laughs> all that to the right, and he look, it barely stayed in, too. Yeah, that was a... The tree saved him and Matt. Yeah, that was a really nice tree kick. As far as he put that low, but you can see it lifted it just enough to get a nice nice pull. Yeah, he's been throwing some low lasers. Um, Matt throwing the forehand out, coming up a little yeah, short. Yeah, just a lot of wind. It kind of turns it over as soon as he flicks that thing out there. Yeah. Barsby throwing Bar the forehand hyzer? Up and over. <laughs> wow. A little long? Yeah, a little long down the hill, so it's going to be tough with coming back up that putt with that yeah. wind. Yeah, Michael Michael getting the sweet angle? Oh, of course. Right oh. The, everyone throws right at him. Bro. Yeah. We just try to <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good at getting out of the way. Yeah. Nice up from uh, Paul right there. Matt. Of course, that's just a upshot. You don't want to putt against on that off that hill. Oh, man. You have to. Yeah, especially in that wind. Look at that. Look at that flag, man. That's just Unreal. Like, brutal. Yeah. Simon with this, even a scary birdie putt in yeah, that wind. Yeah, still lifted on him. Yeah. Paul makes his birdie too, keeping pace with Simon. And a little vibrant love. Oh yeah. Definitely thankful for these guys get having us out. Yeah, dude, super great company, Steve man. Steve Dodge, yeah. He's the man. Check him out. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back to the action. Hole twelve. Um, Big Beth still with the one stroke lead over Simon. 345, what are you looking at? This one. Oh, yeah, this is just kind of, there's that little sidewalk off there on the right. Mm -hmm. the spectators, some of the community come in and checking out the, the action. They actually, all weekend, people were out there out in lawn chairs in their backyard. You can see they don't really have fences. They just kind of have yeah. all the houses face the fairways where this is the old golf course the property. Oh, interesting. And so, uh, yeah, they, they were really loving it. That's <laughs> That's Got great. People coming out and checking it out. So, yeah, it's just a nice little OB on the right. But other than that, it's just, just a little pitch-up shot. It's not too far. So they didn't seem to have too much trouble with it. Cool. Uh, look it's at kind of windy, but. Yeah. Look at Greg's pole. Wow. You almost skipped oh, that yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Simon's birdie putt. Damn. Beautiful. God. <laughs> he can putt. Have you seen his like speed putting video? Oh yeah. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. This this guy's pretty awesome too. And of course, you know the guy that puts in fifty in a row and then <laughs> what what did he shoot like a layup? I mean, you know, a three pointer or something on that video. I yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh no. Man, that's hard to watch, man. That one looks centered. Yeah, it right? was like a putt. Yeah, he was he uh -huh. wasn't happy about it. I mean, not like any of us would be. Right. That was. Ugh. That's unfortunate, right there. Um, it's nice little over the over the pond shot. Okay, look at some OB uh, here. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. I don't think the sidewalk left was OB. I think just a fence. So. Uh, okay. But you know, Paul runs it a little deep. Yep. Simon. Throwing a hyzer line at it because he can. <laughs> <laughs> All that wind, though, you see it knocked it down real wow, quick. Wow, it did. Tailwind here, it looks like? Um, I feel like it's a, yeah, more of a tailwind, because as soon as that disc turned down, it just knocked it straight down. And yeah. Mats, yeah. Like I said, that, that's not OB over there, that because that fence kind of kept him in, so. Oh, okay. Uh, Barsby throwing a forehand at it, which fades towards the pond. If he, yeah, come, if he comes up scary. short. <laughs> <laughs> but he got enough distance. Yeah, he's got faith in the forehand there. <laughs> Matt from the woods, he was running that. Yeah. It's a tough shot. Yeah. Uh, Simon. 
Also running that one. Man. Paul. And he was running that. <laughs> well, what you didn't see there, there's a dog right behind him running up as he's putting. We're like, no way. <laughs> and then, of course, bars be two in a row. What? How did that Catch one not right see there. It? People, were, people were like, man, two in a row? Two in a row. That was brutal. <laughs> That's tough, man. I hate, hate to see that happen. Spit out. It's when, they, when they're hitting them so nice. <laughs> yeah. Such a too nice guy, you know? Of course. Yeah. And... Uh, Pretty Oof, right under it, man. Yeah, nice drive from Paul. Uh, Simon's going to try and match that. Throwing a backhand hyzer. Is it OB left? No, I think it's the same rules, just kind of that fence. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think the cart paths counted as much as the, like maybe a formal sidewalk did. Yeah, okay. Because sometimes it was like dirt, you know, so. Uh, okay, a little hard yeah. to decipher. Yeah. Matt goes a little long left, and Barsby's up after getting two brutal chain outs. Yeah. Hopefully, we can end that streak on this hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt. Beautiful. Look at that, man. I'm telling you, he walks up and just does it with that Heiser putt. Like, yeah. It's it's pretty nice. Yeah. Kind of looks like Brody Miller a li little bit if you've ever seen him putt. Yeah. But like a little more spin putty. But. Mm -hmm. Barsby finally gets one to stay in. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well deserved. Yep. Paul to match that. I mean, you know that's going in. <laughs> I know it's going in. We could just tune out from right here. Yeah, right? everybody knows it's going in. Birdies and birdies <laughs> down the world. Yeah, and everybody knows that one's going in too. <laughs> Simon making putts. I believe that was an all-star. I all believe. Birdies. Yeah, I believe you're correct. And we're on to hole 15. Uh, Paul Sell with the one-stroke lead. Barsby and Bell tied. Uh, what do you got to do on this one, dude? This one is just uh, kind of out on this little hill here with the tree just behind it. But, you know, there's nothing in the way. It's just... Throw it at the basket. <laughs> yeah. Heiser, flick, whatever you want to do. Yep. There's not really much obstruction on this one. Mm -hmm. So Simon and Paul both throw in uh, Heisers and both get pretty close. Yeah. Matt going to try and match that shot. Looks like that'll play just a little bit short. Yeah. Purple discs are hard to film, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Agree? Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> and uh, Barsby. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Park job. Ooh. Matt with that tailwind putt. I think he gave it a little extra for that tailwind, yep. and it just didn't sink on him. Macbeth making the bird. Michael Fouché hustling off to the next the hole. Next yep. <laughs> <laughs> Matt making the comebacker. Simon making that all day. Say what's up to the people, Mike. Are you there? He's there. Oh, I'm here. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. He works hard. He does, man. He kills it. With these graphics, guys, Mike is the man. That's all him. Uh, looking at Last Paul. shot. This is a tough one because we were counting on uh, Drew Gibson and their card up there to tell us where these discs were landing. They'd, oh, they'd wow. give us like a... A cheer or like, oh no, you're way off. Oh, that's They've funny. Jumped, Paul, you're way deep. <laughs> and then like, they, and then Simon would throw, and then Simon, oh yeah, you're way deep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they were doing. They were just kind of messing with them. But we're like, oh, well, like for real, like where's the where's the disc? That's that's funny, man. That sounds like Drew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a jokester. I like that guy. And then Matt going right at it. It's looking good, but I oh. think yeah, deep as well. So I mean, you're t we're telling like. It's just a blind shot. Yeah. It's hard to... Gosh, and he still, he still almost puts that one in. Right? Oh, Simon goes a little bit high. Thankfully, he hit that flag, knocked him down. Yep. Oh, what? Oh, no. That's three. <laughs> it is. <laughs> We're keeping track. Yep. How many can you get robbed out of one round? Wow. Well, that's three strikes. Fortunately, fortunately he's not out. <laughs> he's still in it. Yep. So Paul makes the par along with Simon. I have a recording a par on that one. And we're yeah, on to start par. Yep, hole 17, 350. What's the what's the word on this one, dude? Let's see, this one. Pretty long hole. Like it, it's at, just on the other side of another bomb hill, you know, like okay. it's just a long hole and you don't want to go too deep, but sitting it's protected by that hill. And there's some trees to the right that, you know, Macbeth just got caught up in. You can't go too bomb hyzer with it. Gotcha. More of a straight or kind of anti flex line. Yeah, kind of like Simon does it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Beautiful line. Wow. Look at that. 
<laughs> what a crush. All that wind and protected hole, and he mm-hmm. still gets it down there. Gotta love it. Barzer kind of hangs it up a little bit. But. I'm gonna fade out early? Yeah. Yeah, a little too much air under it. Mm hmm. Matt Bell? Throwing a Heiser flip, and I don't think that flipped quite enough. Yeah, white disc against a bright sky is tough too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or on ag- ag- color. Agreed. Come on, guys, let's choose some different. Yeah, colors. get get some pink and some neon, uh, neon yellow. <laughs> <laughs> nice like, little upshot. Yep. Mm-hmm. What? Boom! I loved that shot. That was huge. I can't wait to watch that one later. I love those crazy anti that just take forever to get there, and they still slam it. That was great. What a putt. <laughs> you can see, like, you can just tell by his body language. Like, I mean, any of us would do it, though. Yeah, like, oh, for you sure. Get, you only get, what, two birdies and four nasty spit outs. Oh, man. The scores would be so much different. You're, that's, you're totally right, man. That's crazy. But uh, Simon and Paul are tied now. And uh, on to the next hole. And Simon's throwing a backhand hyzer at it. And yeah, this is a nice hyzer line. It's, I mean, it's kind of protected left of the trees, but yeah, it should be a nice little hyzer for everybody. Yeah, it should be a pretty star frame. And uh, Matt goes a little long, almost it's circles edge. Deep. Yeah. And Paul Macbeth. That one looks like it's going left. Yeah, kind of sawed it off and went a little left, a little deep too. Uh, as Simon likes to call it, that's a, that's a pro shank right there. <laughs> a pro shank. I guess I never heard him say that. Yeah, he's if you're 40 feet out, that's a pro shank. <laughs> and they let Barsby tap in early. That's why. Oh, okay, he's gotcha. Her. No, they're like, oh, go ahead. Don't let that one chain out on you. <laughs> that's hilarious. Paul missed the uh, long putt, but Matt did uh, not. Yeah, it's crazy that putt. You can it makes play. you want to try it. It yeah. makes it look so comfortable. Yeah. Simon with that little flick just goes right in. The wind's kind of protected here, so, you know, or the trees are protected in, so makes the putting a little easier. Yep, and uh, he got a stroke and on Paul. He's got a uh, stroke lead. Yeah, just took the lead, and this is a nice little pitch shot protected by that tree, but it's pretty much just straight at it. Yeah, Simon's throwing a mid-range, so it can't be that far. <laughs> well, actually, it could be like 500 feet, but it's not. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> it's not. <laughs> he does have the world record for a, a mini. Yeah, exactly. Matt throwing, yeah, Matt throwing the hyzer and pretty much parking it along with uh, Simon. Uh, Greg Barsby. Throwing a little backhand action. Nice and easy. Yep, right under it. Making that putt. Not chaining out. And Macbeth. Is he throwing a P2? I believe so, and it looked like it was going to be short, but you know him. Yeah. <laughs> That's not short for him. <laughs> no. It's still Macbeth. Tap in range. <laughs> I can't imagine just 35 feet. He's like, oh yeah, that's in my range. Yeah, that's going in. Bars- Did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Barsby and Bell making birds, and Simon's going to do the same. And a uh, little star frame. It's always nice. Yep, we kind of expect that on this hole, though, with these guys mm-hmm. playing. They're, they're pretty good. And we are on to hole 20. Simon with, still with a stroke lead over Paul. And what are we looking at? Uh, just kind of another... Another pretty short one. Um, I guess this is more of a, of a flick line. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember this one. It's pretty open as well. I don't know. I'm not sure why he sh- ended up playing that one so short. I don't think the wind was too bad. But huh. There's Matt with the hyzer line right at it. It's yeah. still a little short. But should have a putt from there. Hmm. Greg Barsby throwing the forehand. That's online. Look, he got the distance on it. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Right under it. Yeah. Looking at a headwind putt though. Yeah. Always a little little knee knocking and McBeast throwing the forehand with the star destroyer. Wow. Hit the bottom of the basket. <laughs> yep, hit the pin. <laughs> yep. So Simon makes that and says Oof. you're not getting your stroke back. Crazy tailwind <laughs> dip, but it made it. Yep, got enough on there. Those tailwind putts you gotta put a lot on. Yeah. Ah. Nice headwind putt from Greg. Yep, acknowledging Justice the crowd. right there. Yep. God, that putt from Matt's sick. Yeah, I just, I'm telling you, he makes it look so easy. It does, it goes in. Just lean into it and hyzer the crud out of it, and it'll go in. And uh, Paul with the bag on bird. 
And uh, Simon, so one stroke lead, hole 21, 370. Looks like a forehand or a backhand any line. Yeah, this one's kind of, this is our, our final hole of the round. Oh, okay. And uh, this one kind of plays on a hill, so it's a little bit tougher than it than it leads on. So oh, okay. I think Simon kind of hangs it out to the right and, and deep. Oh, yeah, huh. Uh, Matt's up next. Also throwing a backhand hyzer at it. That's online. Oh, yeah. That's wow. Good. That is parked. Nice. Great shot in a tailwind. Greg Barsby. Come up a little short. A little bit. Yeah, still putting though. And Macbeth. So it looks like a Rock 3. Or a Firebird. Yeah. I can't tell. Looks like a rock. Uh, Simon for Birdie. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Got under it a little bit. Yep, that's a nose up headwind putt right there. Nose off the pan. Yep, but uh, Simon does make the comebacker for par. Macbeth. The tailwind putt for Birdie. Slams that in the center. Of course. With a Thor tie right there. Matt is going to tap in this birdie. Bag on and holding water, Jonathan. <laughs> a giant jug of water. <laughs> a giant jug that's of water. That's how I like to make my birdie putts. <laughs> Man, that's, those, are, those are the best putts. Stress-free. <laughs> but uh, Simon and Paul are now tied, and we're going into our last round, okay? Should be exciting. Cool, man. Well, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.